Hello friends, in today's question, assume that a drop of liquid evaporates by decrease in its surface energy so that its temperature remains unchanged. What should be the minimum radius of the drop for this to be possible? The surface tension is T, density of the liquid is rho and L is its latent heat of vaporization. So in this case, we have to find out the radius such that when the liquid starts to evaporate then there is a decrease in surface energy so we have to find out the minimum radius such that the temperature remains unchanged so herein the important thing is that the temperature of that liquid or drop should be same and in that case the amount of energy that will be required for the evaporation will be taken out from the liquid itself so it basically means there will be reduction in the radius of the liquid drop and this reduction in the radius of the liquid drop will help in the evaporation of the, uh, the liquid drop and the condition is going to remain the temperature will be unchanged. So we are going to find out what will be the reduction in the radius and that is going to lead us reduction in the area and from there we are going to find out the heat which is dependent upon the latent as well as mass of the evaporated layer and ultimately it is going to give us a radius so let us start that heat required for evaporation must come from a decrease in the surface area the decrease of the surface area without change in temperature without change in temperature so this is the basic understanding behind the entire solution so let us find out the change in surface area change in surface area and we are going to denote it by delta A so due to evaporation the liquid drop is going to shrink uh, slightly and let us say the decrease in the radius is given as dr okay. so we say that when the drop liquid drop rather slightly due to evaporation its radius decreases by dr its radius decreases by dr so we assume that its initial or original uh, radius is r initial radius is r therefore we can find out its initial surface area initial surface 
area let us call that ai and that will be equal to 4 pi r square and the final surface area when the radius decreases by dr final surface area when the radius decreases sorry when the radius decreases by dr we can write this as af is equal to 4 pi and r minus dr whole square so we can find out the change in surface area that is delta a change in surface area which is delta a and that is equal to our difference in the surface area a initial minus a final we substitute the value we get delta a is equal to 4 pi r square minus 4 pi r minus dr whole square and we open the square as well as multiply so this gives us 4 pi r square minus 4 pi r square and this will be coming as now plus 4 pi dr whole square and we have here plus this will be 8 pi r dr these two terms cancel out and dr is very small so therefore this term we are going to neglect therefore the change in surface area is approximately equal to 8 pi r multiplied by dr so we can say therefore delta a is approximately equal to 8 pi r multiplied by dr so we found out the change in the surface area now we are going to find out the heat required for the evaporation heat required for evaporation and denoting it as Q so this heat required for evaporation comes only from the you can say layer of the liquid because the temperature is constant so the layer of the liquid is going to produce, uh, provide the heat that is required for the evaporation so you can see that the heat required for evaporation comes from converting thin layer of liquid thin layer of liquid into vapor so this heat is denoted as Q Therefore, you can say this seat which is denoted as Q will be equal to latent heat latent heat multiplied by the mass of the vaporated layer mass of the evaporated layer so we can find out the mass of evaporated air 
we can see the mass of the evaporated layer so latent heat can be represented as L and the mass of evaporated can be represented as M so this Q will be equal to L multiplied by M so let us find out what will be our M mass of evaporated layer that is m will be equal to density multiplied by the volume that is volume of the evaporated there is change in delta v small volume and therefore we can say that this delta v is our volume of evaporated layer volume of evaporated layer of thickness dr of thickness dr because dr is the reduction in the radius so only the layer of thickness dr is being evaporated so we, have, we can add this as delta v will be equal to we have this as 4 pi r square multiplied by dr so therefore we can write our mass m will be equal to rho multiplied by 4 pi r square multiplied by dr substituting this this equation so we can write q therefore q is equal to we have our l and multiply by m and that is rho 4 pi r square multiplied by dr now it is given in the question itself that energy of vaporization come from the decrease in the surface energy okay it is given that the liquid evaporates by the decrease in its surface energy it means energy of vaporization comes from the decrease in the surface energy so it is given to us that energy of vaporization energy of vaporization comes from decrease in surface energy so we can say that from this statement we can conclude rather that decrease in surface energy decrease in surface energy will be equal to heat required for vaporization heat required for vaporization and heat required for vaporization is our Q and let us suppose the decrease in surface energy is given as delta E s will be equal to our Q and we can find out our delta E s we can say that our delta E s will be equal to that is surface energy loss surface energy loss that is our ES will be equal to our T multiplied by area so this is our T is our 4 pi R square and the decrease in the energy is given as 
and you can say t multiplied by delta a so you can say when the radius decreases when the decrease in radius is dr so when the decrease in the radius is dr so we can say the change in surface energy change in surface energy let us call that as delta es and that will be equal to t multiplied by delta a and t is the given the question that t is the our surface tension so we can substitute value of delta a so we get our delta es is equal to t and delta a we uh, delta a we calculated as 8 pi r multiplied by dr and we said that this change in surface energy will be equal to the heat of vaporization that is q we said but delta es is equal to q we substitute both values we get this is t multiplied by 8 pi r multiplied by dr is equal to q is our rho 4 pi r square and multiply by dr and multiply by l so this gives us that our r is equal to 2t upon rho l this is the value of the radius and the options that are available to us the option number d is the correct option so we can say option d is correct so this completes the question thank you